Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina. All right, all right, I'm calm down. So yesterday, so little something, something crept in my mailbox. Little something, something at my doorstep. And I was like, oh, I see what we doing in 2018. So Jaclyn Hill just announced that she is collabing yet again with Morphe. And I'm low key here for it because the Jaclyn Hill palette was like low key, high key, a banger. For them to kind of do like a volume two was a smart move. And today we're gonna be talking about the collection, reviewing it, demoing it. Before we get into that, today's video is done in partnership with Audible. You guys know I love and rave about Audible. So it is an app that lets you listen to books. You can listen to podcasts, comedy shows, I just started listening to Children of Blood and Bones. It's by Tomi Adeyemi. My interest was actually peaked a couple weeks ago. I think I saw in the Shade Room or I saw in some press outlet that basically this whole series, which I had never heard of until recently, is now getting picked up. Like it's 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 being hailed as like the next Game of Thrones, which y'all know I love, except it's the Nigerian version. It's actually really good so far. And she just got this like multi-million dollar deal to I think make it in a movie or something. I just know there was money involved, funding, she's killing it. And I'm trying to support my Nigerian sisters as much as I can. So really enjoying that book and I would highly recommend it. I've been traveling a lot more, summer's coming. I've been trying to be more conscious of what I do in my free time. So whenever I'm on the plane or whenever I'm traveling, I don't just wanna get stuck getting on Twitter or just get stuck on social media. And I use things like Audible for that very reason. Long drive, Audible. Cleaning my house, put it on Audible, hook it up to my Beats speaker. I'm just trying to get so much more out of my day than just scrolling social media all the time. And honestly, Audible has been like a great tie-in for that. If you wanna sign up for Audible, you can go in the description box. It's audible.com slash Jackie Ina. And if you click that link, you actually get a 30 day free trial. So once again, link in the description box, it's audible.com slash J-A-C-K-I-E. A-I-N-A. -A. Or you can also text my name, Jackie Ina, to 500-500 to get started. And you actually get free credits every month. So I haven't bought books in a long time. Actually, I don't think I've bought a book since I've started the service because I just keep using the free credits. And the credits just keep rolling over. Oh, and by the way, if you're not like an Apple user, you can also use it on Android, Amazon Fire tablets, and Windows Phone. And if you bought a book and you don't like it, you can just swap it. Thank you again to Audible for sponsoring this video. And once again, you guys can check out the link in the info box. I'm done. Let's get started. I haven't done my bonnets in a while. I figured I would debut her back on the channel today. I'm going to try my best to avoid using the colors that I usually use. And then in my last video of Manny Emue's Life's a Drag Palette, everybody dragged me because they said it looked exactly like the Patrick Star spring collection, with, which I don't think it did. But you know what? Fair enough. I have an event to go to and the theme is neutrals. So I wanna keep it a little bit light and not too dark. I'm thinking I'm gonna use a combination of the Dark Magic palette and the Armed and Gorgeous palette. So both of these. I really like whenever palettes have kind of this mossy green shade. So I think I'm actually gonna start with the Armed and Gorgeous palette. I'm gonna start off with Access, which is this kind of yellow orange shade here. And I'm popping that into my crease. It's kind of nice amount of pigmentation. Also bear in mind that, you know, your girl is melanin a few, so sometimes yellows don't pop. Wow, that looks really good actually. Sometimes yellows, especially matte yellows on my skin tone, just don't pop. It's pretty smooth to blend. So far, there is quite a bit of kickback on, wait, where is it? On the palette, so just bear in mind. Ooh, it looks really pretty on camera. Stunning! I'm also gonna take a little bit of Secure. Does that make me a Secure? Me amo. Secure, I'm gonna place exactly right on top of where the yellow was placed. I actually didn't want this color to be yellow yellow, but I did want it to be bright. Isn't it funny how I just want bright and then I don't want it to be whip? I, I have no explanation. Now I'm gonna take Secure and blend her along my bottom lash line. And you know I'm gonna struggle with this, sorry. I can't, I can't, I have to block the camera. I'm so sorry guys, but I have to get as close to the mirror as I possibly can. Okay, hopefully you can see that now, that's better. Then I'm gonna take Top Secret, which is this beautiful mossy green shade, and I'm gonna blend that along my outer crease. I'm actually using the M514 brush from Morphe. I'm using something that is tight and also pretty dense. And you know, that doesn't look, I wish it was 
more pigmented, but you know what? This will do. Feeling like once I, yeah, it's doing it. I, once I go to blend this out, it's just like poof, disappearing. But it only seems to be doing that because I applied a little bit more of the other two matte shadows on this eye versus here on my bare skin. It's sitting, it's sitting just fine. Yeah, that I'm not, that's not blending that great. That's not blending that great on top of the yellow. I'm not liking that, but you know what? On the bare side, on my bare skin, it actually doesn't look bad. I'm gonna take a bigger blending brush and instead of smoking it out, I'm going to start packing it on. I think that may, because I either way I need to fix this because I gotta go. Okay, that is much better. But I like to be able to blend my shadows because that's what you should do anyway. Oh, this is really bugging me. This is really bugging me. You know what? I may just have to like, like I really have to go. I need this to work. I gotta move on because I really don't wanna be late even though I'm already late. So next case. I was gonna try my hardest to just use one palette for the look but it's not quite working out that way. So I'm gonna take Trickery, which is, <laughs> that's a funny name, which is from the Dark Magic palette. It's a beautiful, frosty, uh, I would say like mossy green color, emerald, it's emerald. And I'm going to pop that onto my lid because the green, like just completely green, she's gone, like. You saw how much of that green I put on, it's completely gone. So this is now going to become my lid color. I didn't even need to wet my brush and this went on really nice. But I am gonna wet it just because I can. Spray my brush to get it to look a little more foily. I mean, that's gorgeous, but I didn't even really need to do that. And I'm just patting that all up into the crease. I'm trying to basically cover all of the damage. I was a little worried about Top Secret, the mossy green shade, because it's always those like cooler, ashier greens that sometimes they can either go really wrong or freaking amazing. But in order for them to go really amazing on my complexion, like I really need them to have like a substantial amount of pigment. And I just found that that particular color was a little on the dustier side. Like I just, it just wasn't enough pigment for me. I'm taking Invasion, the 24 seven glide on pencil from Urban Decay. So I'm gonna pop that in my waterline. Oh, you know what, actually, yeah, that's more blue than it is green, but that's okay. Then I'm gonna take a pencil, that just, just, don't mind her. I'm taking Trickery and a pencil brush and blending that along my bottom lash line. Oh my God, I hope you guys cannot hear that vacuum cleaner. Okay, this look is way darker and way smokier than what I envisioned, but unfortunately the mats wanted to cut up, so I was kind of left with a little bit of, little bit of improvisation of it all. I just realized there's actually another mossy green color in the Dark Magic palette. I wonder, should I try my luck and maybe see if I can kind of clean up the edges with it? If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna move on and I give up altogether. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of that on the more denser, fluffier brush. I'll just go around. Okay, so that's actually, that's actually not that bad. And now I'm blending, cause I definitely need something to soften this lid color. I'm still getting a little bit of the patchiness and separation on the outside, but I think that this blended a lot better on top of the creamier shimmer shadow, much more than it did on top of the mattes I was trying to layer, so that's definitely noteworthy. Every so often, not always, but every so often with some of these Morphe palettes, they really do try it. I'm adding Agent from the first palette, and I'm going to sweep that along my bottom lash line. And then also take that up into the crease. As you can see, some of that green has traveled up here. I'm gonna now try to blend that out as much as I possibly can, just so that it looks neat. I'm finding that I'm having better luck patting as opposed to sweeping, because I feel like if you sweep too much, you're just gonna blend the shadow off. Okay, that, that I can work with, man. This part is really bugging me, but I honestly think that I have fixed this 
as much as I can. I'm not gonna lie though, you guys had me there in the first half. This is the Fluff Lash from Whiplash. Nine times out of 10, if you see me wearing this lash and I don't tag it or mention it, it's probably this one. Let's add in some mascara, Better Than Sex from Too Faced. I am sweeping off the fallout. I know that fallout for a lot of people is like the make or break for a palette, but actually for me it isn't. I, I don't really feel like there's just enough evidence to show that like cheaper shadows have fallout and good quality eyeshadows don't. Because in my experience, there's been fallout from both types, so it's like you can't really say, just saying. Okay, I wanna jazz this up just a little bit. I don't wanna get too carried away though. Without getting too carried away, I'm gonna take classified, no, actually guilt. These, these, these shimmers are toying with my heart. Coin has a bit, Coin has a bit more, wow. That's a gorgeous color. Wow, I was not expecting that. Okay, so that is guilt, that is guilt trip. What does classified look like? Oh, that barely came off, okay. Um, yeah, that didn't swatch, classified didn't swatch that great, but that's okay because swatches to me don't, Swatches are kind of whack. Like I feel like swatches be deceitful sometimes. I'm gonna take coin. It's got a bit more yellow. So I feel like it would look really nice with our transition color. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of that right in the innermost corner of the eye. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, that's beautiful. Wait time, wait time, wait time. Oh, here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Oh, she is a new woman. For highlight, I'm gonna take a bit of my La Peach just for a subtle glow and this looks Stunning with Rose Duro. All the way up into my temples. I'm gonna try to bring some lightness to an otherwise like pretty dark smoky look because it wasn't supposed to go this way, all right? I always say my policy is no smoky eyes before 3 p.m. guys, calm down. God, my lash glue dried. No, wait, no it didn't, no it didn't. I used to wear this Dior mirrored gloss like every day and then I just got sidetracked by all the other amazing glosses that are out. But today I'm gonna wear it, why not? Okay, so I don't know how we did it, but we made it work. Praise the Lord. All right, so the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection literally comes inside a cute little mini vault. When she first announced this collection and like told us like what the inspo was and all that good stuff, I love the fact that they went with this whole like vault theme, like hidden treasure, best kept secrets. All of these palettes are just basically the leftover shadows that didn't make it in the cut of the last Jaclyn Hill palette. You get four palettes and they are all very fun size. These are very approachable size palettes. As much as I did like the previous launch, it was a little big and I did travel with it. I, I traveled with it hesitantly, but I do think that it was a really good, like it was just literally like the quintessential all-in-one palette. Even though it's more stuff to carry, this is way easier to pack than like a big wide flat palette separated. They all live in different homes, you know what I'm saying? So each palette has a theme of its own, a look, a color story. Isn't this the spine? When you're reading a book, they call this the spine, right? Okay, I'm just gonna call this the spine of the palette. When you look at the spine of the palette, you can actually see the name and like the color story. So that's kind of helpful. I think that it's definitely ideal for those of us that have like tons of product and we don't have time to like keep picking up every product, opening it to see which theme it is or which palette it is. You also have a smooth white finish, way easier to clean than the last launch, even though they did come back and relaunch again for retail and they made it that shiny white. So that's kind of nice. So for $45, you get all four palettes. If you wanted to actually buy the PR package, you can. These palettes have mirrors. And those of you guys that are like on the go, always out and about traveling or just even just busy people. Maybe you don't always get to do your makeup at home. Palettes that have mirrors are seriously everything. It's always the little details to me that count. I'm not gonna talk too much more about the details and the nitty gritty of like the creation process because I feel like Jacqueline can explain that best and I will leave a link to her video down below. Okay, so final thoughts. I'm just gonna wrap up everything we just experienced, not did, experienced, despite some of the trouble that I had earlier. And I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. Despite all of the troubles that I had, I would, I mean, it's, I feel
feel like I say this before, but it's 15 bucks. I know that a lot of people think that because I know Jacqueline and like she's a friend of mine that I'm not going to tell the truth. But if I wanted to hide the fact that the shadows weren't blending and like all of what you saw earlier, then I would have just reshot this. I would have taken the makeup off and just done it again. I would have made it work off camera instead of explaining to you how I was making it work on camera. Just be mindful of that before you start thinking I'm being nice or, um, cause a lot of times people are like, you're not saying the truth and it's like, well, no, I am saying the truth. It's just, I know when to call a spade a spade. I'm not going to sit here and trash this entire palette just because I had some trouble with the mattes. Do I think that it was not good? Of course, you saw the trouble that I was dealing with on camera. Do I wish that the green was more cooperative? Absolutely, but what you're getting is a $15 palette. And I feel like for what? two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. For 10 shadows, for some amazing shimmers, the transition colors were really good, and the assortment of colors that you got in the palette, I honestly do think that it's worth the splurge. And guess what? What doesn't work for me may be phenomenal for someone else, and that's okay. It's not the best quality that I've used, but it's also definitely, definitely not the worst, and I do feel like it could have been much worse. For 45 bucks for the entire vault, I really feel like it's a pretty good collection. I like how she pretty much covered every base. You have like your summer colors, you know, like the earthy tones. I am curious to know if these darker colors that didn't layer on that grate on top of other mattes would work as I like, I imagine these would probably be better used as lid colors. Ring the alarm, I think is definitely a summer banger. I'm not gonna lie though, the longer I look at the monitor at this green, I don't know, she's kind of cute. The, she, the green is definitely kind of cute. All in all, I definitely would recommend the collection, but you may have to kind of tweak things because some of the mattes might be a little tricky to work with. The dark, deep mattes, if you are budgeting and if you are looking to save your money on shadow palettes, I mean, I feel like it's definitely worth exploring and tweaking. You're just gonna have to, little extra elbow grease, okay? But if you really think about it, by the time you've entered code edges, yes, that is my Morphe discount code. By the time you've entered the discount code, you save 10% and I mean, that $5 will be coming through in the clutch. You know what you can do for $5? That's a bottle of tahini where I'm from. I'm just saying. Congratulations, Jacqueline. I seriously love her to pieces. I think she's like, as far as putting products together, I honestly do think that she is one of like the beauty community's visionaries. Like I think she's so good with putting things together, with uh, just creating really dope stuff that she knows that people are going to gag over. And I really feel like people don't just buy her name, people buy because even if you did, even if you didn't know who Jacqueline Hill was, genuinely, if I saw this at the store and I had no clue who Jacqueline Hill was, I would probably buy it because it looks good. And that's one thing that I think she is freaking amazing at. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review. I know it was a little rough in the beginning, but I feel like we made it work. Let me know you guys' thoughts down below. I can't wait to see what you think and I will see you on the next video, which guess what? I'm not going nowhere, man. The, vix the next video lies in your hands. I don't even have to say anything, it's right here. Just gonna leave it, just, I'll wait. I'll wait. All right, I gotta go.